Whenever you're calculating mass ratio, you first need to work out the molar mass of all the substances in the balanced equation. Double check that the equation is balanced before going into it. And then we're going to say sodium is 23, oxygen is 16 plus 16, sodium oxide is going to be 23 plus 23 plus 16. So we're going to land up with 4 times 23, which is going to land up being 92, 32, and 2 times 46, 50, 62, 64, so it becomes 124. If I take a look, I get 124 on this side and 124 on the other side. So that is clearly a conservation of mass in the balanced chemical equation. Now they ask me what mass of sodium oxide, so I'm interested in a mass of sodium oxide, would be produced from 46 grams of sodium. So I look at 92 and 46 and I see that 46 is half of 92. 92 grams of sodium would have produced 124 grams of sodium oxide. So I now go half of 92 would produce 62 grams of sodium oxide. The next question is what mass of oxygen, so I'm looking for a mass of oxygen, would be required to react completely with 11,5 grams of sodium metal. Now 11,5 grams is going to be another, so it's going to be one eighth of that amount over there. I can work that out by saying 92 divided by 11,5 and I'll get 8. So it's 8 times smaller. So I'm going to take 124, I'm going to divide that by 8 and I land up with 15,5 grams. Taking a look at the next one, we've got 39 grams of potassium. We have got 1 plus 1 plus 16 we have got 39 plus 1 plus 16, or plus 16 plus 1, and then we've got 1 plus 1. Um, and we need a 2 in front there, a 2 in front there, a 2 in front there, and nothing in front over there. So this is going to land up being 78. The next one is 36. The next one is 56, 112, and 2. When I add that up, I find that I get 114, and when I add that up, I also get 114, meaning that we have got a perfect conservation of mass, which we should have anyway if the equation is properly balanced. Question is, what mass of potassium, question mark on potassium, is required to produce 2 grams of hydrogen? Well, 2 grams was produced from 78 grams. Those two are perfectly linked. So I don't even need to do a divide or a add or a multiply or anything. If 56 grams of potassium hydroxide, so I've got 56 grams of potassium hydroxide is produced, what mass of hydrogen would I get at the same time? Well, 56 from 112 I've divided by 2, so I'm going to take 2 divided by 2 and I'm going to land up with 1 gram. Zinc is going to be 64, sorry, 65,4 grams. Hydrogen is 1, chlorine is 35,5, zinc 65,4, plus 35,5, plus 35,5, plus hydrogen is 1 plus 1. I need to put a 2 over there, but otherwise everything doesn't have anything in front, so it's 65,4. It's 2 times 36,5, so that's 73. We land up here with 71 plus 65,4. And we get 136,4. And that's 2, so all together we've got 138,4. And turns out on the side it's also 138,4, which it should be, and we've got a nice balanced equation. What mass of hydrochloric acid is required to react exactly with 130,8 grams of zinc? 
So I'm taking that and I'm going to make it 130,8 and that is exactly times by 2. So I'm going to take the 73, multiply that by 2 and I land up with 146 grams. What mass of zinc chloride, so the question mark is zinc chloride, would be formed if 12 grams of hydrogen were produced? To get from 2 grams to 12 grams, I've multiplied by 6, so I'm going to take 136,4, and I'm going to multiply that by 6, and I land up with 818,4 grams as my answer. Last one, calcium, 40 plus 12, plus 3 times 16, which is 48. Next one is 2 times 1, 1 plus 1, 2, plus 32, plus 4 times 16, 64. Goes on to become 40, plus 32, plus 64, plus water, I happen to know is 18, carbon dioxide is 12, plus 32, which is 44. In no balancing numbers, so that's pretty convenient, I land up with exactly 100. Over here it turns out to be 98, and over here I have got 136. Checking that everything balances, 198. This is 136 plus 18 plus 44. And I land up with exactly 198 again. So that makes sense. I know that I've got all the right ratios. What mass of carbon dioxide, so my question mark is mass of carbon dioxide, underneath the 44 over there, is produced from 200 grams of calcium carbonate. What did I do to 100 to make it into 200? I times by 2. So what do I do to 44? I times that by 2 and I get 88 grams. What mass of sulfuric acid is required to produce 68 grams of calcium sulfate? So what did I do to 136 to make it 68? I divided by 2. So what do I do to 48? I divided by 2. And I land up... Oh, sorry, it's not 48, I lie. It's 98. Divide that by 2 and I land up with 49 grams of sulfuric acid.